Okay, so now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our lilac chalk paint, and I have chalk finish, and I put that all on this frame, and you can see it's kind of shadowy, but I kind of like that look, because then I'm gonna wax and decide if I'm gonna do a finish on it afterwards. And then what I wanna do is I wanna paint on the mirror and the frame, so I'm gonna use multi-surface paints. That's how it looks on the top. It says multi-surface, it's an acrylic, and it paints on multiple surfaces. So that's the thing I like most about it. I'm gonna come in here and I can paint on the mirror and it's gonna stay. So I want you to see that I'm taking my three quarter inch and I'm loading two colors on here, a light and a dark green. I can even come over here and get a little bit of white. And uh, this is exactly what I saw, a beautiful little wisteria or lilacs. And so what I'm gonna do, let's start kind of off the side and up on the chisel and then I'm gonna go right onto the mirror. Now, what other paint can you paint in both places? I love this. So I'm gonna come and keep picking up. This is like a vine. I switch it sometimes where I'm leading with a lighter color here. I might flip it over and then follow with the lighter color as I come around. All right, now none of this shows really this vining. What this vining ends up being, you might see a peep of it here or there, but the vining um, makes like the map of where you're gonna go. Okay, so I like to peep a little bit here, and you can see I haven't cleaned the mirror yet because if it doesn't need to be cleaned, if you don't see it, I don't worry about it. All right, so I really don't even need floating medium because this is working really quite well on here. More paint than you imagine more 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 paint all right now these little vines are going to trail but you're still going to see your mirror and be able to see in here i don't know if you can see the paddle fan if it's bothering you but i wanted to i was trying to find a, a way to lay this in a in a way that you're going to be able to see it okay now these are long slender leaves i want you to see we'll put some on later it's not like a daisy stroke I want you to see that we're gonna pick up our paint and we're gonna push and stand up. Push and stand up. All right, get a little bit more white again because I like to bring in some other colors into the leaves. All right. Now I wanna do one really close so you can see. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be at an angle. I'm gonna push down and then I lift as I come to a point. All right, let's do that again. Let's come over here and we push down at an angle, not on the chisel. And then as I stand up, I stand up and curve a little bit up to the point. So having those points really makes a difference. And you can do smaller brushes, but I'm going for this really nice loose look. And then we'll put like these lilacs, which is exactly the color that we used. And we're going to put some of those clusters of flowers, the lilac, right off of this vine. Now, to me, what would be really fun is in this little girl's room, we can take, and I love putting this mirror against a sage green wall. There's lots of pretty colors you can put it against. All right, and then what's going to happen is that you're gonna put this against the wall and it's just gonna pop against that soft, that shade of green on the wall with this, with this lilac color. Be great for a nightstand. But these are fun little projects that can change a whole room. Mirrors, frames, turning them into something besides a canvas painting or frame, find great frames, paint your pa canvas paintings and put these great chalk finish frames around your pretty art. Okay, I usually don't do quite so many before I start doing my flowers. So a couple of things I like to do is I might use some purples, a little bit of white, and maybe some blue. And I'm gonna take and put in a quick and easy way for you, maybe not one strokers, maybe new, new painters, and put a cluster of color where I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put it all on here. Instead of my scruffy, I'm just gonna use the chisel of this big brush. All right, so I put blues and purples. 
Okay, I go ahead and put the leaves, even though, look, I decided to cover that whole way. And I'm using a mixture of all these different colors, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to come in here and add more uh, to make it look more realistic in just a minute. But this saves you so much time because that's gonna be the underneath. A little bit, little one here. See, we have a big one here, some bigger ones there, and right here, just a teeny one. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here with like a 12. Now I want you to watch this. I'm gonna pick up a color, maybe even blue. Sometimes I use blue and magenta. And then there's different strokes you can do. I'll show you a couple different ways. We can keep coming over here and picking up paint and have some different colors in here. Some richer purples or some richer blue. You really need some dark and light. My colors are all kind of close to each other. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. And some people call them grapes, but we're going for the illusion of a, a lilac. And I'm not trying to get an exact, but see, I need some darker in here. So we could use even some darker purple. But the, another way to do it, I like to show you different ways, because one might work for you, or you might like one look better than the other. Okay, so let's go to this one. We can take and make little circles. I push, push, push. This is like one of my favorite because I'm gonna keep picking up white. Now right on a mirror, just think, the reason I've done this a few times is that the mirror I got had some pitting. Do you know what I mean? It starts looking kind of like it's old and it's separating from the mirror part of the mirror, especially in the bathroom. If you have a bathroom that has that look, how easy it is to come paint a little something that would match your, your bathroom right on the mirror itself, even if you don't have a frame in the mirror. I've done that many times to save a look. I've had realtors have me come and where it's oxidizing and turning just to save them having to replace all the mirrors, they have me come and do it, okay? So, little simple. I've had fun with this DVD. I've, I've tried to share many different techniques. This is just one lesson and the fun of the DVD that show fun ways to take and change decor in your house that so you're ready to turn to trash instead of a treasure and make it a treasure, right? Um, a great gift, something fun that you can do. And look how simple it is. Now, these are just random little, random little strokes. But what can happen is you put a little yellow butterfly in here, something really fun to change this whole look up. And depends on what, like in your daughter, what her favorite look is and what your favorite look is if you're doing it for the guest room or a bathroom. So I'm having fun creating and painting and making these new techniques. And what I'm finding out is that you guys are too. So the thing that's gonna happen is I'm hoping that you will get with us and come to our certification, come to onestroke.com, pick up your supplies so you can start creating right away something that will change your decor to something that you love or you can turn around and sell your pieces and, and take and be able to improve the things that you want, like your talent, learn more talent, be able to share. And every time we paint and create and redo, we make something that we never could believe that we've done and it gives you confidence to do the next project. And it's so much fun and it is addicting. Now, I have to tell you one last thing after you see, isn't that fun? One last thing that's important to me is that you guys get with me and share what you've created. I love sharing with you. I wanna see pictures. I love, love, love it. And go to my Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke site on Facebook and share, share, share. Go to Instagram and share with me. And come look at our education and what we got available. And I travel all around the country. We wanna redo with you. I would love to come to your area, get some people together and invite me over. And let's have fun together. I hope you enjoy these little DVD clips and we're going to do more, 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 only if you want them. So I'll see you next time.